Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about art and culture out here in Merida, Mexico. Um, as you guys can see, right behind me is the cathedral. And um, as you guys can see now behind me, this is the Soca, El Zócalo, which is the center of the city. All right, so we're just gonna walk through the park, walk and talk. Maybe I can find a little chair to sit on and uh, we can uh, just talk about um, art and culture out here in Merida which by the way if you guys love art and culture and all that good stuff this is the place to be this is the place to come and uh, and enjoy it because um, like for example Cancun is probably like the closest place to here that you guys remember or recognize and yet you know Cancun couldn't be um, any further away from you know the, the kind of uh, stuff you're gonna find out here so if you when you guys hear Cancun you guys are always think you guys are already thinking you know spring break you know partying getting drunk you know all that craziness and uh, when you're talking about Merida Mexico it's none of that the complete opposite of that there's none of that here I mean you know don't get me wrong there's partying you know there's drinking there's bars there's all kinds of awesome stuff out here but for the most part this is a this is a place that you're gonna come out you know, you're gonna come out here to enjoy museums, to enjoy culture, to enjoy, you know, um, you know things like this. You know what I mean? Just seeing like a like a gazillion pigeons, you know, just hanging out in the square, having people feed the pigeons, you know, things like that. Look at this. Look at the feeding frenzy these pigeons are having here. Look at that. Look at this. All these pigeons are like, oh, you get out of here. I'm in their way. But anyways, so, you know, if you guys have already seen plenty of my videos in which I'm showing you guys, you know, through many museums, you know, festivals, um, you know, events that happen here on the streets all the time. And uh, even though a lot of these things happened, um, you know, in a lot of parts of Mexico, you know, Merida, Mexico is actually very, very unique in the sense that, you know, out here, it's um, it's very, very, very family oriented, even more so than, than in other parts of Mexico, which is uh, really awesome and intense and cool. And so, you know, like, just look at, I don't know if you guys noticed those two guys that just walked right by me there, but those guys, you know, they were wearing uh, war paint. I mean, clown paint, because there's a lot of clowns out here. There's a lot of clown colleges and schools out here. There's a lot of, um, you know, the arts are very much emphasized out here in this part of Mexico. Um, you know, Merida, Mexico isn't even, uh, you know, Merida, Mexico, even though it's part of Mexico, it just kind of became part of Mexico in like the last, like, I don't know, 50 years or something like that. Um, because up until then, they were their own place. Here, look, check this out. This is like the main tourist attraction out here. You can get to, you know, come and check this out. <laughs> But see, there's everybody comes out and takes her picture. You guys have already seen. Okay, let me see. Let me get a thumbnail. We got the thumbnail. And, uh, you know, the beauty of uh, what this city is here. This is just the center of the city. But anyways, as I, as I, as I was talking, you know, and, and saying, um, right across right here, you know, that's a big-ass museum. You know, the further you walk down that way, Pretty much anywhere you walk around, you know, the city. Um, we're gonna, in fact, we're gonna walk uh, back home now. We're gonna start trekking home and we're gonna come across a few places. Yeah, sorry about that. Music was playing in the background. But, you know, as I was saying, you know, there was, you know, there's a lot of museums that are just surrounding the immediate area of the center. The deeper you go into the center, the more, you know, theaters you're gonna see. And I'm not talking about a movie theater, I'm talking about like real theaters, you know, with real actors acting and, you know, all that shit. Um, not community theaters you know there's art schools everywhere you know my girl went to like the biggest art school out here which has many many outposts you know throughout the city and so on and so forth you know there's another you know museum right here cultural center you know people you know playing their violins people playing uh you know their instruments and again as you guys have seen other videos of mine and from the past you guys have seen me you know traveling all throughout this whole area and seeing um you know all, all kinds of uh, you know museums and uh you know all kinds of you know arts and culture things you know they're very very unique to here and uh, most of them are free um 
you know, we've walked down Paseo Montejo and there's a lot of arts and culture out here, you know, on those areas. You know, we've walked through um, El Centro, you know, we're gonna walk through a big theater. Um, but again, guys, you know, what today's episode is about is just to, you know, kind of like let you guys know how awesome Merida is. Merida is full of arts and culture. I know I've said that like a hundred times already, but it really, really is. And, um, you know, if, if you're a fan of Mexico, then all of a sudden when you come out here, you're gonna experience a brand new experience that you've never had before. Because again, even the Mexicans that live out here are completely different than the, the other Mexicans that live everywhere else. And the culture out here is different, the food is different, um, the traditions are different, the way they speak is different, everything. Look, there's another theater, Teatro Merida. And this is, you know, old school. It's been here for a very long time. And that's it, that's the theater. But like I said, you know, um, you know, there's tons of theaters around here. You know, there's tons of art events around here. Um, we've talked about it in past videos. I've mentioned it in past videos where, you know, not only do they, um, you know, close the streets off, you know, on Saturday night and Sunday morning so that everybody can ride their bicycles and, and people can, uh, you know, enjoy you know what it is you know to be out here but on top of all that you know on top of all that you know what i mean like there, there's just constant you know closures you know like street closures there's constant you know um area closures and stuff like that so that people you know so that people can enjoy museums so that people can enjoy the culture so that people can enjoy things you know they close a lot of things off here so that people are so that people are allowed, you know, the the opportunity to really, you know, enjoy all the all the you know awesomeness that is this city. You know, for the it's it's for the locals, it's for the tourists, it's for everybody. But you know, right there in the center of the city, the in Esocalo, where we started off today, you know, every um, like I want to say like five days out of the year, like five days out of the year, they they close that off. You know what I mean? Like five five days out of the year. Sorry, I got a little distracted by something there. But five days out of the week, give or take, they close it off. So like on Sundays, you know, that whole Socalo turns into a ginormous uh, market. And, um, you know, I got to show you that one of these days. I'm going to see if I can bring uh, bring my girl out one of these days. This is we go a lot, but like I, forget, I always forget to bring my camera every time I go out there. But, you know, it's like a giant market on the weekends. You know, there's all kinds of uh, like events. Um, they have like all kinds of, uh, you know, festivities. You know, you can go there on a... You can literally go there on like on a Wednesday night and um, they have, um, you know, just like uh, local artists, you know, doing local, um, you know, exhibitions. Yeah, sorry about that music. But as you can see, look, you guys have probably seen these guys or gals, you know, selling all kinds of uh, artisanal stuff all throughout the city and all throughout the downtown. You know, these guys come from... Um, you know from the outskirts of town from uh, all these little villages and they bring their stuff here and they sell their stuff here all this authentic mayan stuff authentic uh you know stuff um literally made by them in a village far away from here and then they come over here and they sell it so you know that's also part of the culture part of the you know indigenous um, mayan uh history you know very rich and awesome out here um but as i was saying at the end of the day like out here it's just funny because like I wish you guys could see more of what I'm looking at right now. It's just so much fucking weird traffic and uh, it's, it's all gone now. I can't really turn around. Getting so distracted today. But, you know, as I was saying, you know, this, this city is, is a city for people that love history, that love culture, that love art, that love, you know, all kinds of things like that. Because out here in this city, that's, that's all you're going to see everywhere. You know, right outside my house, man, right outside my house, it has like a photo, ph 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 ah, sorry, sorry about that. So right outside my house, um, like a few blocks down, there's like a photography school. They always have like photography exhibitions. You know, they got people apologizing for all the fucking cuts because of the music. Um, I don't know why they've been playing a lot more music lately. It's freaking horrible. But anyways, but the point is that, you know, there's all kinds of like 
exhibitions like um, when you go down Paseo Montejo or other parts of the city on the weekends, you know, whether you're riding your bike or just walking around, you know, there's all kinds of artists, you know, selling art, you know, like paintings or, or um, you know, necklaces or dresses or, you know, all, uh, woodwork, you know, you name it, all kinds of art and work. And, uh, and, and, and it's just amazing, you know, this city, it's just, it's full of art in, in every single direction. Whether you're looking at the architecture, whether you're looking at, you know, whether you're looking at the, you know, the, um, the, the fashion out here, you know, the very, very authentic fashion from the, from the Yucatecan people all the way up to, you know, um, to the, you know, those white dresses that they wear with the little flowers, you know, to the guayaveras, which are those t-shirts, you know, those, uh, those shirts that the Cubans wear. And it goes to show you the Cuban influence out here. Because again, the Yucatan Peninsula for the longest time did not belong to Mexico. They just kind of like joined Mexico in the last like 50, 60 years, as far as I know. And up until then, you know, they were like their own country, their own nation, their own everything. And so, you know, that, that being the case, you know, they would, you know, they actually tra they actually did a lot more trade with like, I don't know, you know, Cuba, with Spain, with a lot of all these other countries. And uh, that's why out here, it's so very European. It's so, you know, artsy fartsy. It's just stuff like that because it's just very, very different uh, culture and a very, very different way in which uh, this whole area you know came about as, as opposed to the rest of mexico it's a, it's a very different history and um it's a really 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 cool history Eric, i got more music coming up honestly i have no idea why the hell there's always so much there's like literally like the last month so much music being played everywhere all right sorry about that here we go again Yeah, sorry about all that noise you know you know it's really funny you know with the whole noise thing I, I really honestly think that ever since that day that I made that video you know talking about um, the noise you know meaning that like um, I, there, there used to be signs all over especially like right now where I'm walking there used to be all these signs that were posted up saying uh, to keep down the music you know keep down the the volume keep down the the noise and all this shit and ever since i made a video talking about that like bro get away you know stop stop imposing your gringo ways out here you know on the poor people that want to make fucking noise anyways ever since that day ever since that freaking day um all of a sudden not only do i not see the signs but now there's fucking music blaring out of everywhere and um it only bothers me and my videos. That's only, honestly, that's all it fucking bothers me. Now, I, I really don't give a crap, you know, about the noise or the music. I actually appreciate it, as I've told you guys many, many times before. But when it comes down to like the whole, you know, um, when it comes to the whole thing of uh, YouTube and shit like that, I, I really fucking hate it because it's all of fucking YouTube that all of a sudden now, you know, like I, I'm even worried about right now. I just passed this place there in the middle of a conversation and there's like really loud music playing. And I'm just really worried about the fact that just because of that, you know what I mean? Like um, I'm, I get my video not only demonetized, but you know, copyright striked and all that shit. And the reason I'm, I'm so adamant about it, even though I think most of you guys get it, not everybody gets it. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? It's not me, it's YouTube. It literally has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with uh, YouTube and the whole copyright situation that's really fucked up but anyways i digress that's not what we're here about we're, we're not here to talk about oppressive art and oppressive uh you know regimes that don't allow art in the proper way we're talking about the, the complete opposite we're talking about medina mexico and uh the awesomeness that it is to be out here you know how much awesome art and culture and uh amazing people and all, all the awesomeness that comes with it you know like honestly look i got a bag you know full of stuff that i literally gathered because i just came from a from a travel agency asking all right more noise more noise but anyways i just came from a travel agency you know asking man this is just terrible anyways i just came from a travel agency right now and uh literally i went in there just to get some prices and uh you know just get some information on uh, my my next trip and all this other stuff 
It's like every. Are, are these things like on special? I got a feeling like you know they're they're fucking selling these fucking things. You know, some like Walmart had a fucking special, you know, for five dollars, and now everybody has a. F oh, look at this, everybody. The fuck, man. Everybody. I I, I really I, I really do think that there's a correlation there. I know this video ended up. I'm just talking about fucking art and all this other shit, but it ended up you know turning into something completely different. Anyways, I forgot what I was fucking saying. But you know what? Oh yeah, that's right. The, you know how awesome the people are here. Like I literally just you know went in there to get some prices, get some information, all this other stuff, and I made friends with the people. In fact, to the point where they gave me a bag, you know, full of stuff, you know, all kinds of uh, medicinal herbs and spices and all this other shit. You know, a bunch of uh, holistic medicine because we, we just went on talking about um, you know that we were just talking about that and health and medicine and and all this cool stuff and she's like oh you know i got some aloe i got some this i got some then i got like a bag full of fucking herbs so awesome super happy so again you know like out here it, it's just totally different the people are so you know open accepting homey you know they're very 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 um you know they open the door to you they open the door to their home you know And it's uh it's really awesome it really really is i'm not you know i i, I love it that's one of the things that i love so much about living here is just the fact right it's just the fact that uh you know the people here are genuinely 100 percent friendly genuinely 100 percent hospitable really 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 awesome you know like it's just something that i'm not used to coming from the jungle that i come from where everybody's always just trying to fucking, uh, you know, take something from you, do something to you. Hey guys, sorry about that. You already know the heat turned it off this time. So yeah, it's fucking hilarious. You know, I, today's episode is just a bunch of ramblings coming out of me. I don't even know if any of it made sense. But I guess all I'm saying is that it's fucking beautiful out here. The people are beautiful. The food is beautiful. There's, you know, the art is beautiful, the architecture is beautiful, the women are beautiful, the men, I'm sure they're beautiful, I don't know, I'm not, it's not my cup of tea, but the point is, is that <laughs> it's fucking amazing out here, it really is, and uh, today has been like a little bit of a weird day because I've actually encountered a bunch of expats today, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of friends that I have from around town, as I was running my errands, I was just bumping into them, you know, people that live here, you know, uh, expats like me, locals, you name it. And, uh, you know, again, you know, like it's one of those things that make this place so beautiful, you know. It's not just the fact that this place is all full of art and culture, but it's, it's really like, even though it's a big city, it's a very, very, very small town feel. And um, it's amazing. It really is, you know. It really, really is. And it's like, I love it. I mean, like I said, I, I just, I went to go get some, uh, some prices on my uh my future uh what is it my future trip I wanted to get some information and long story short i end up leaving with more than just information i ended up leaving with uh new friends and and a bunch of uh, medicine and and a bunch of cool stuff and this is the way it is out here it's just the way it is it's 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 really cool it's um almost something that I can't even put into words even though I really I try to I try to put it into words every single day that I make these episodes sometimes it escapes me and I just you know open my mouth and whatever the hell comes out and sometimes it's a good episode I hope today was a good episode at least maybe I got some good footage anyways guys I want to say thank you so much for fucking being here as always you know thank you to all my patrons thank you to all my contributors thank you to everybody out there um, yeah you guys are just awesome and i love doing this and this is the best job ever and i love you guys and you guys are the best anyways thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon don't forget to watch the sponsor at the end of today's video as always and uh last but not least i love you guys and i'll see you guys manana man you guys can tell i'm already running on fumes it is so hot and so humid august sucks Whew. Can't wait for it to start cooling down any day now. Actually, any month now. Actually, I don't even know if it's ever going to cool down. Anyways, all right, guys.
peace out. Catch you later. And uh, we'll be talking tomorrow, as always. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.